so these are just a couple of the UA plugins that I use all the time, a lot on, on <laughs> anything I'm working on because they're just that useful and, and that good. Um, we just got a pretty standard Gretsch through a, a Vox style amp. Um, uh, it's a Magic Amp Sprit. Um, and I've got a little Neve 1073 love going on here. And uh, nothing super drastic about the EQ we got happening right now, which is kind of what I like. We're just boosting up the level a little bit. It's got just a hair of like 1.6K boosted a little bit and then a big um, high pass filter on the bottom, just taking all the nasty stuff out. That it's never gonna make a mix anyway. Um, a lot of times I won't overcommit EQ too heavily on any of this stuff because, you know, I'm sending some of these tracks blind. Uh, I'm not the guy mixing some of this stuff, uh, a lot of it actually. And so I don't want to paint these guys into a corner, um, but I do like to print these effects and, and I like to have tones that are inspiring and, and you know, world class if, you know, if I can, as, as world class as I am. Um, uh, some great stuff, man. You know, like this is kind of a dry, dry sound, but man, you, you get into some of these, um, the EMT plate verb, love this. Here's with the little verb in the send. Just to get that nice stereo spread. It's really great. I also love this Korg um, S, uh, SDD 3000, kind of U2 delay. The trails on there. I'll kill the uh, the EMT for a second. Let you hear just hear the delay. Super sweet. Get the stereo spreads nice, and then you can even get you know gacked out with the mod. Get some real kind of chorusy effects. down a little bit, go back to our, put some, the verb back on. Just a great sounding spring verb, and, or plate verb, I should say. Um, another thing I love is, and you know, we were all patiently waiting for the, 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 the distressor model that we all knew we needed, um, but this thing does just really great stuff to electric guitars. Just brings the whole thing to life really front and center. And that's just the default, that's just turning it on and like literally not turning a knob or changing anything about the presets. But again, I'll kind of undo everything I just did and go back to the, um, you know, the bare bones guitar sound. Again, fine, you know, it's a, it's a, sounds like a guitar into an amp, right? You know, but man, you put all that stuff back on it. And in very minor forms, mind you, you know, we're not, nothing of, none of these settings are super aggressive, but. stuff so um i'll plug these on um some some tracks i've already done and we can tweak through some of this uh next uh so here's some tracks i've already got recorded and um i'll kind of solo some stuff up for you um and this is a really similar sound to what i was just kind of messing with i think this was a gretch <laughs> pretty Pretty straight ahead sound. It sounds like I maybe had a little bit of a spring verb or something going on um, in the background at the time. But man, uh, you throw on a little bit of, um, we'll go back to our distressor. I just love that. Love what it does on electric guitars. Um, <laughs> Wow. 
immediately kind of bringing it super present. You can even get extreme with it, you know, and um, then blend some of that back, which is a great thing. And then also, um, we could add just a hair of my favorite verb, the EMT 140 plate. Immediately you just have like more depth, like the compression brings it forward, right? And then the, the verb makes it a little bit deeper, gives it some, some spread. You can also do fun stuff with the verb um, that I'm a big fan of in terms of stereo imaging. So, um, you know, where you can pan the verb off to one side and have the, you know, have the part, um, you know, say you got a guitar part panned to the right and you do the verb on its own thing and you can pan it left and you get this really cool stereo image without it being like a true doubled effect. And the stereo image is kind of off in the distance. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Um, but we'll take these licks down here. These are just some, some verse, um, some stuff I did in a verse of a song. <laughs> Again, there's already some kind of, you know, it's already a little bit of a schmutz on there. It sounds like I was just tracking with a, um, um, you know, some version of a, uh, of a delay and uh, probably analog something on my pedal board, um, that kind of stuff. And, but I'm going to send this to, where's my track here? We'll call it guitar verb, right? Love this trick. And we've got the new track here, so I'll throw the, the plate verb on there. And it's a stereo effect too, which is, you know, kind of which is cool how that works. I'm gonna bump up my send here. Go ahead and do that. Like this. So now we've got, and I can spread this over, well, guitar's panned a little bit. You can see the guitar's panned a little bit to the left in terms of this mix. And I'll throw the, just a really cool, really subtle, but really cool way to add a little depth and some kind of stereo image to your, um, to your guitar part. I'm even gonna take the tail up. It's fun stuff. Um, it's geeky stuff, but it's fun stuff for me. And um, especially when you're just trying to get, you know, an extra 2% of depth or dynamic out of a part that you've already recorded and you already like, like the tone's right, it's all there, right? You're just trying to give it a little extra sauce, especially in terms of a, of a mix of a song. Um, these UA tools, uh, I just can't say enough about them. They're great.